things that we need to be able to do if we only have one hand available to us. The first thing we need to be able to do, worst case scenario, we need to be able to access our gun, meaning get it out of the holster with only one hand. Now, obviously, if I've, it's my strong hand is available, that should be extremely easy, okay? But if my dominant hand has been injured prior to me drawing the gun, then I got a little bit more of a, a hurdle to recover from. There's a series of things that you can do. Um, the first one is, if I'm operating from a duty rig, if I'm having a hard time getting a, the gun that's in front of my body, one of the things that I'm gonna recommend that you can do with a duty type rig on, is to grab that thing if your keepers and everything will allow you and move it around on your body where you can get to it. All right, I can reach it, but you may not be able to, especially if you've got on uh, body armor or what is very vogue right now in law enforcement is a vest type rig that's got radios and other stuff on the front of it. And depending on the size of your body, reaching around the front of your body or behind your body may be difficult. So getting a hold of that and pulling everything in front of you so you can access the gun is gonna be important. Once you get to this point and I can get my hand on the gun, I've got a couple of options. The first one is to pull it out, put it back into the holster and get my grip. That's probably the easiest thing to do when you've got a duty type rig. If for whatever reason that will not work for you, you can bring the gun out and there's two things that people teach that are fairly common. One is to take the gun and kind of roll it across the front of your body. It takes a lot of dexterity do, to do that and it's not one of the things that I think is or I would recommend for most people. The other thing you can do, and this one's gonna be a little bit more difficult for you to see, is you draw the gun out and put it into the crux of your hip and then come around and grab it. You've got a little bit more control over the gun when you do that uh, and you can, it's not as likely for you to drop it. But my favorite from a duty rig again is gonna be to pull it out, put it back into the holster and get the grip from there. If you're running a concealment rig, that obviously is another important technique. You should be able to pull it out of that concealment rig. Again, either put it down in your crux of the hip or put it back in the holster and pull it. Some people are flexible enough they can literally stick their hand between, if they're carrying appendix, between their gun and, and the holster and pull it out and rotate it enough. If your hand will turn around and you can do that, then rock on, right? There you don't have to do any kind of gymnastics to get your gun out. But it's something that you should be able to do and you should practice at least occasionally being able to get that gun out of the holster with only one hand. What else do I need to be able to do? Reload. Reload the gun, right? I don't have two hands, I can't access all my different magazines. If my dominant, if I have my dominant hand um, uh, on the gun, this becomes a relatively easy thing for me to do. I basically drop the magazine, reholster the gun back into my holster, reach across, grab my new magazine, put it back into the gun, draw the gun out. And then at this point, I have one of two options and I'm gonna take the, the magazine out to help with this. If I can reach it with my dominant hand, I'm just gonna use my strong thumb to send the slide forward. But if you can't reach that for some reason, the next thing you can use is your rear sight, your optic top of the slide or whatever, get a hold of your belt, pants, whatever, and basically power stroke the gun off of your belt or something else like that allowing you to pull the slide to the rear, release the slide stop, and put around in the chamber. So reloading with your dominant hand only is pretty simple. Reloading with your support hand becomes a little bit more difficult because I have, depending on the gun that I'm using, I've got two things that I need to be able to do. The first one is I need to be able to access and or press either with my trigger finger or middle finger, depending on your flexibility, I need to be able to hit that magazine release button and drop it out of the gun, okay? That's number one. Number two, now I gotta put the gun somewhere. So if your holster will allow it, you stuff it down into the holster, but it needs to be a holster that allows you to stuff it in there so that when you go stick a magazine in the gun, it doesn't go flying out and toppling out on the ground, okay? All holsters will not do that well, all right? So it's something that you need to check to make sure that the holster will do that before you attempt that as a technique. So in this particular case, it's pretty easy. Now, once again, I either have to be able to use my trigger finger or something, or I have to power stroke the slide to get the round into the chamber with my left hand, okay? So for most of you, the best bet is probably to grab your optic or your rear sight or whatever off of your belt to get that round into the chamber. 
If you do not have a holster that works well for that, you've got a couple of different options. One option uh, that you can use, and uh, some people poo-poo on it, and it's kind of funny, um, but what you can do is you can stick this thing under your arm. If this arm still works, I can stick it under here and put a magazine in it. The reason it's frowned upon in the firearms community is because if I'm practicing on the line, where does my gun now point? Oh my God! If I'm in a gunfight, do I care? Because they're, right? There's no downrange, uprange, anything like that. So for purposes here, I could do that if this, my hand would allow it to, okay? Or if my arm would work there for me, that would work, okay? The other thing I can do is I can stuff it down into my pants if that would work. So I can shove it down in my pants somewhere. And the other option is go down to a knee and take the muzzle of the gun and pinch it between your leg here, okay? Now you can do this behind you, okay, with the muzzle pointing this way, but this, I think this is more secure if I have to do any other things, okay? This allows me to control the gun really well. I can insert my magazine, again, come up and power stroke, release the slide, whatever, and get back into the fight, okay? Worst case scenario here, we wanna be careful of covering in any part of our body and not making things worse okay when we're already in a bad situation makes sense but if you notice when i'm coming here drop that magazine out i don't have to cover anything i tuck it away i have nice control uh, over the gun insert my magazine come back up either power stroke on something or hit the slide stop To keep up to date, make sure you subscribe to us on YouTube. For questions, go to LangdonTactical.com. And to keep up to date with all the new stuff from Langdon Tactical, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Facebook at Langdon Tactical.